You up? Is that good? A little more. So you can more. get pretty close up. That's good. That should give me plenty of room. Hello everyone. I'm gonna give people just a couple seconds to come back in. If you were with us in our last live where we just did the wreath, I promised everybody I would come back and show you all the new products. And when I say new products, Mummy's kind of behind the trend. <laughs> I like to, you know, watch items and make sure there's something. Somebody said this the other day about my store, and they're right. They said, the thing about your store is you don't carry everything just because it's trendy. You kind of carry things that are staples. That's kind of what we try to do. Not like, not everything's a staple, but some things are a staple. And um, I'm going to show you some stuff that I think are definite staples today. I got a lot of Rudis Monroe stuff that I didn't get to show you guys that I'm in love with. You guys see these guys right here? Love these. These are his um, cargo sleeve pockets. I want to show you my hand in there. Look how crystal clear these are. And also, they are thick. And he told me, is he here? <laughs> he told me they were, I want to say they're seven mil or six mil. They are thick. They are sturdy. Look at that. Now, I could probably rip this, but just doing this, you know how plastic bags were ripped? I got them right. Seven mil? Um, <laughs> I'm so glad I got them right. Christopher just told me. These are so sturdy. So, I want to show you what I did, but I have another idea for them. Matter of fact, Amanda, could you get me a, a finished card? Any one out of the front room is fine. There you go. That'll work. Okay. Check this out for storing your stamp sets. Now, here's what I love about them. They are crystal clear. I do not have to look through a uh, matte finish. You know, I, they are perfect. I also love, they come in 25, 50 packs, or 100 packs. So if you're a person that really collects a lot of stamps and needs them, you can get 100 of them. But I gotta show you something. As much as I love them for this, I have another idea. I like to make cards that I don't do anything on the inside. Remember, I like to do my cards and leave them blank on the inside. I also sometimes don't know who I'm giving them to or whatever. They could be a gift. They could be used as a card, anything, okay? These pockets are going to be perfect to hold your cards until you ship them. Let me show you what I mean. So, I can put this card in here, and this is a thick card. This is a waterfall card, okay? I can label it if I want to. If I, I can write on it with um, erasable marker. What's it called? Expo markers. I can write on it. If I wanted to put anything about it. The other thing I love is it's nice to keep your cards nice and flat like this and then because of the protection here I can stand them up in a box, put them into a filing cabinet, anything I want. There's another idea we had for them too. Yeah? Let me tell you this. I love the clear bags we carry. You're gonna be like, well why not the clear bags? Here's the difference in these two, okay? This is for me to store cards I know I'm gonna send to someone, all right? Those clear bags are what I like to use when I'm giving a gift. Like if I buy those clear bags that have the seal, if I'm making cards as a gift, I like to put them in the clear bag so the people can take them out when they need them. But that's the difference. This is for storage for us. Christopher, what size are these? <laughs> I don't have the, the reason I'm having to ask is because I took mine out of the packaging and didn't bring it in here with me. So I just have mine stacked like this. And we also had a question, could you punch a hole in them? That's another them thing. Christopher may or may not tell you this, I don't know if he agrees, but when we were looking at them and thinking how we could use them, we decided we could punch a hole, you know, like a three ring punch on this side. And the reason I think it would work good is because this sealed edge is going to keep it from pulling out. But you got to remember, once you punch this, you know, it kind of um, weakens the integrity of the plastic. And once you punch it, but I still think it would work just fine, especially having this... Um, blocker piece to keep it from ripping. So Christopher says they're five and a half by eight. Is that what he just said? 5.5 .5 by eight. Five and a half by eight. So you can put your five by seven cards in it to store them. This, to me, this is just a cleaner, neater way to do it. Now, let me tell you the price. Somebody can help me on that. The 25, Christopher will know. <laughs> oh, you could burn holes. Uh, Misfit Crafter says you could burn holes in it, like uh, melt holes, and then it would seal up the edge as well. Also, I have been asked that question while I got Christopher. Can we use these with the fuse, to fuse tool? I think we can. Yes, Janie, you can store your stamps in here. That's what they were created for. That's what I showed earlier. That's this, okay? And I love this, all right? And you could totally store two, two sets in here, no problem. 
I mean, if you wanted to, you could cut a piece of paper to put between them or just put them in here. You still can see through so clear. You could easily store two sets in there. Um, um, dun, 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 dun. Yes. Oh, you'll just have to use a longer setting time with the fuse because these are seven mil. How, how much is a 25 pack? There we go. $18.99 for the $25, $32.99 for $50, $61.99 for $100. A hundred of them is a lot, lot of them. You can do a lot with that. $25 is going to go a long way. And if you put two stamp sets in here or two cards or two whatever, you'll get, you know, $25 is 50 if you can do two in there. So that's awesome. So love those, Christopher. I'm late, but are these sturdier than the Avery Pockets? I have never had an Avery Pocket. These are. Here's what I want you to know. These are seven mil, seven mil, okay? So when you're looking at other products, just compare seven to typically, correct me, Christopher, because I know you did the designing. Okay, these are three times the thickness of Avery. Typically, I see like four, sometimes five, but seven is thick. They're very nice. Good job on that one, Christopher. Now, I think I showed this one already, but in case I didn't, I think I, I used this, didn't I? These are the stackable sentiments. I gotta tell you something, guys. These don't get far from me on my desk. These and my clickable letters sit so close to each other. These are stackable sentiment stamps. And what that means is, say you need to say happy anniversary, you just take off the one you want. I actually sometimes leave it on here because I think it's easier to stamp just by doing it like this, but you can just use the one stamp. And here's something I love. Now, I'm sure this was not serendipity. I'm sure he planned this, but I love this. If you, if you can read happy anniversary, you are stamping it correctly, okay? Like if you can read the sentiment, you are stamping it correctly. And if I know Christopher, he did that on purpose because <laughs> he's a stamper like the rest of us. He actually uses these products too. So this one says, good luck, just a note. Well, it, all of these sentiments, okay? So it's, how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 stamps. <laughs> I know you're OCD. Christopher said, I'm glad you noticed my OCD. He is totally like that. So okay. much. Good luck. Just a note. Sorry for your loss. Happy birthday. Miss you. Happy anniversary. Best wishes. Create your own ending. Everybody knows that's Christopher's little saying, right? Smile. Hello. Get well soon. Thinking of you. And these are done in Christopher's handwriting. Let me get a little closer to the screen. See that? They're so cool. Um, I love that they stack and can just sit on my desk. And I can just be like, okay, miss you card. Okay, you know, best wishes. Okay, let's say hello. And they're bigger than you think. They're not the size of this font. He, he made them fill up the bottom. So like, hello fills up that bottom. Not awesome. They're just so good. And these just sit right on my desk. And when I need one, I grab it. I find myself using them in a lot of stuff because like, it's a good inside. It's good to stick on the inside regardless of what the front looks like. So those are available. Now then, Oh my gosh, so many cool products. All right, I'm going to show you this. Where's my girls that get their nails done? Or where's my nail tech girls? You will know Are this you bottle. use my analogy? That's what it is. I am so impressed that I said that right the other day. That's exactly what this is. Christopher went to the nail, um, what's the word, the nail world, and mimicked this bottle. This is the squeaky clean. This bottle comes empty to you. You buy the bottle, the dispenser. There's my nail tech. Okay, this holds seven ounces. I poured today, I poured my four ounce refill into it and it's about half full, okay? Then, <laughs> um, you open the top. Now here's the thing about it. This is one of those tops that press down. I'm gonna make a mess showing all this. I'm just gonna go ahead and prep for it because this is not how you use it. You don't press it down without something on the top. But did you see how that fluid came out? That's what the idea is. But let's say you needed to get some ink off of your work surface, take this. Lay it over the top. Don't go crazy because you get plenty. Squeaky clean just takes a little bitty bit, okay? You just press that down and pick it up. If you've seen that, if you're not a nail tech and you've seen the new Windex bottles that are like this that you can leave like in your bathroom and they're cute to look at but you can squirt Windex out to clean things up, that's a lot like this too. I also love that this lid closes, right? And you can lock it into place so that it can't be pushed down. Okay, so if, you, if your kids have seen you use it and they get excited and they go, ooh, I wanna push on that. No, this is squeaky clean. You, you can't play with my squeaky clean. I love you, but you can't. So, <laughs> this is my stuff. But it locks so you can't push it and your kids can't play with it. 
Anything I'm missing, Christopher? I think I said everything about it, but I could be missing. This lid comes off for you to fill it, refill it, whatever, just like that. <laughs> Louise, I use Windex more than I get my nails done too. That's a good comment. I like it. Yes, Christopher did a great job. He, you know, he he listens to you guys because so many people have been asking him. Something else he did, which is so cool, it doesn't take your nail polish off anymore. You got that, right, Christopher? Because I said something about it, and he was like, it's messing up your manicure. I got to fix that. And he went through testing after testing after testing. So he listens to you guys. That's what I love. So if you have suggestions for Christopher, he listens. And he's always being, like, um, innovative. That's what I love. Okay, there's the dispenser. I could spend all day on that. I think it's awesome. Any more Brutus Monroe? Because I know he's got to go to work. I think that's the... all... That's all I got of him today. The ink? Nope, that's not his. I just wanted to make sure I had his done early because I knew he had to work. <laughs> He's like, I ain't got time to sit around and wait on you to talk about stuff. Okay, here we go. What's next? You guys have been asking me about this forever. It is now in. This is the Prismacolor Pencil Sharpener. It has two um, settings, so you can sharpen your pencil in two different ways. It works on color pencils. It, I've used it on regular pencils, so it's fantastic. Um, I do not have the color pencils at this point. Let me be 100% honest with you. If I buy them and put them in our store, they're outrageous. I don't know how people get those discounts they get. I guess they buy in pallets and bulks we can't afford, <laughs> but they're outrageous. I'm looking for some nice, affordable, good quality pencils, so I'll be testing a bunch of that stuff out till I find them. But this guy's awesome. This one, mine was sent to me by Rhonda, who's one of my um, administrators. And she sent me this a long time ago, and I love my pencil sharpener like this. So now this is available in store. By the way, if you have any questions about product, if you're watching the replay, and we're not here to answer your questions, email us at info at maymaymadeit.com. It's I-N-F-O at maymaymadeit.com, and we will answer you back. Okay, next. I'm going to do this one because it's taking up a lot of space. I'm saving that ink because it's amazing. And I want to do a demo of the ink. So stick out with me for a minute. We're going to do a demo. Look at this. You guys. Oh, good Lord, Christopher. You're killing me. <laughs> He's got pencils coming too. You guys are always asking me to find everything religious I can find. Like, I can never get you enough scripture and religious and pretty things like that. So when I saw this available, this one is called, this is by Bo Bunny, and it's called the Faith Collection. It's beautiful yes other companies can buy them in such bulk somebody said they got their color pencils for a song i can't buy them that cheap i'm just telling you so it's important that you know that i'm going to open this pretty up this one is the faith collection i'm going to pull it out and then i'm going to tell you what all comes in it hang on just a second so in this one you get 18 sheets of double-sided designer paper one sheet of cardstock stickers Papers included, it's a mixture of different papers. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna flip through. So here's the cardstock um, sticker sheet. If you're a Bow Bunny fan, this is right up your alley. This is so their perfect style, right? So let me pull this back and let's go. Oh my gosh, you're gonna see this in my Bible journal. I love that we get two of them. Cause what if you wanna make something for you and then share it with a friend? Look at them guys, look at them. No, Prisma are not the same as regular color pencils. They are 100% different. Look at that. That's beautiful. This is so pretty for the way we do our Bible journaling. You know the way we do our... That's gorgeous. This looks like the 4th of July in pastel colors, doesn't it? Very cool. You like it? Look at this polka dot. Oh, their paper's awesome. Listen, I, this is when I like to smell, too. Listen, Graphic 45 and, and Bow Bunny papers and um, Authentique, I like to smell those papers. Look how pretty. One thing I like about this paper pad, it might seem very springy, but some of these colors could go into fall. You could totally do a fall page with this. Do you see that tree? That's beautiful. So I like that about it. Oh, and look at all this. Look how pretty. Love it, love it. This one's really pretty, y'all. Look at this green, good summer. I think this is kind of an all, oh, wait, y'all see this page on the back. Oh my goodness, just look at that. That's stunning. Now Emily's mad at you. She said you should have showed that to her earlier. <laughs> Actually, she said she, she's glad you didn't show it to her. I showed you the baby when I think. I might not have. 
Look at these guys. These are all cut apart. You get two pages of them and they're gorgeous. I really feel like this is an all season paper. Look at the orange. Boy, those colors don't show up well on camera. That's so much more vibrant than, that's sad. But that is the 12 by 12, okay? The six by six is the same pattern, just the same thing, Faith. And you see all the same patterns through there. Let me move this out of the way, just real quick. And then I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm always a sucker for these. You guys know me and these little cards, right? Because these will make a greeting card in a second. <laughs> I mean, in a second. These are not made for making greeting cards. These are made for like scrapbooking or actually they're made for a lot of um, like project lifestyle stuff. Um, I can't get this to open. <laughs> my trick's not working. I didn't bring my pokey tool. Okay, you're reaching for something. Am I gonna cut myself with that? <laughs> if you ain't careful. The name of that paper set was Faith by Bo Bunny. So, I don't wanna cut myself on camera, you know? Here we go. These guys right here, if you make A2 size or five by seven cards, you can use these as focal points on your cards and look, fronts and backs. Look at them. These are so useful in your card making. They're just perfect for it. I know people ask me about that, like, how can you use it in your cards? But look, what if you made that the focal point and you stamp behind it and you pop this up on dimensional on foam? I just think they'd be so pretty. Look how cool they are. I love these guys. Oh, I didn't show you the back. Oh, look. And cut them out. Look, that says love one another. Cut them out and use them. Look at that cross. So pretty. You get two of each. Oh, look at that little guy. This needs the scripture, set your mind on things above. That is so cute. You are beautiful on the back. And, oh, look, so cute. These, these match the paper um, stack also. I'm seeing some of the same patterns in here. Um, oh, this is pretty. The Lord is my strength and my shield. Not pretty. And then look, be the light. I love these. Slider cards are a great idea. Shaker cards, put these behind a shaker element. Um, what was that question she just said? I have been asked if you, I think she was trying to say sell gift cards or certificates. We do have gift cards on the store. We sure do. And I think you can make them in any denomination you want. I'm pretty sure you can. So on maymaymadeit.com. Look at these bigger ones. Now here's the thing. I want to tell you something. These would make perfect note cards. Cut yourself um, four by four. Well, it'd be four by eight paper scored in half. Glue this on the front. It's a note card right here. It's, um, it's Micah 6 8. I love this scripture, by the way. How perfect for a note card. You just need to send somebody something, a 4x4, four four, perfect. All of these old guys are so cute. This is why I like these things. I don't really use these for um, any kind of scrapbooking. I like them for cards. I'm not going to open and run through these, but these guys are even smaller, which to me is so cute when you can do like a series of squares on a card or make it look kind of quilted. So cute. So those are available, and they are called... Miscellaneous Me by Bo Bunny. Here's what the, box, the little thing looks like. And they are 96 journaling cards. There's a bunch in here, a bunch. Oh, I forgot to put these stickers up. Let me put this over here. Okay, what's next? Oh, I'll do some quick stuff. This I can go through fast. Okay, oh, I'm so excited. I have been looking and looking for good paper for you guys. But I'm gonna tell you this, this stuff's heavy. It's a little expensive in shipping. We try to ship it to you as cheap as possible. If, if you order just these paper pads and we can put them into a flat rate package, that's what we do. We do our best for that, okay? If for some reason your shipping is way more than we have to spend to ship it, we will refund you the difference. So if you get in there and you're like, oh, my shipping's like $40, Vince will get it as cheap as he can and he will refund you the difference. But we have to do it by, um, we have to do, y'all thought that knife was dangerous. Y'all don't think I'm, bright, I'm um, more stealthy than that? <laughs> I'm not. All right, here's what we got. These guys, I love this because look at all the colors. This is Nina. Yes, we found it. It's Nina. It is, what pound is this one? I think they're all 65. There it is. In the big letters right here, <laughs> 65 pound. And you get um, 18 colors. And what I love about this is sometimes you don't want to cut a whole big piece of paper down. These are just so good to put in a little container by your desk. So if you just need a piece for like, a border punch or something like that. You don't have to cut a whole piece of paper down. And that's a five this. by seven piece, right? These are 
four and a half by six and a half, and a half by six which is perfect for A2 card makers like me. I love to have this handy because I keep this size scrap all the time anyway. So love that one. This guy is the same pack. I think it's the very same colors too. Yep. Yep. Same color, same pack, but this is eight and a half by 11. It's 65 pounds. You get 72 sheets in this. Look at all the colors. They're so pretty, right? Nina cardstock. This is also Nina. Oh, is it? It is made by Nina. Let me find their name before I tell you that for sure. The one I always buy is, do I see it? I don't see their name on this one. So I'm not going to put Nina's name on this. This is Astro Brights. But I swear my last one said, here it is, Nina paper. <laughs> I want to make sure. It is Nina. And this one is um, 65 pound. There are 75 sheets. And this one are the bright, bright, pretty colors. See all those brights? You can't tell. They're very bright. Look at the difference. How about that? You can see the difference. So eight and a half by 11. Love these. This is like my favorite paper. And see, I was buying this at Walmart because I couldn't find it anywhere else. And I love it. I love that we got it now. Same paper pack in 12 by 12. So three different options there. This 12 by 12 is amazing. This is perfect to keep in your stash. 65 pound. Um, <clears throat> and let me address that because I know that's true. You can find these in your local stores, but a lot of you cannot. I have, I have viewers from all over the world. And when I'm doing videos and saying where I'm getting my paper from or whatever, it's frustrating for some people who can't find them in their own areas. Especially if you're like me and you live in the boonies. <laughs> There's nowhere that sells this around me. So that's why we try to get these in for you guys because you ask me over and over again. So we got it. All right. <laughs> Miss Jones said, LOL, Georgia. Yes, if you live in the boonies, <laughs> it's hard. Check this out, okay? This is from Illustrated Faith. It is so cute. This one's mine. I'm going to open it. What? This one's mine. So you just bought that? I just bought it. <laughs> this one is mine. I love this. For Bible journaling, let me get super close so you guys can see it. See the little words? I'll read them too in just a second. But you can set a different word and then set the date for it. This is the cutest thing. The first one is blessed. So you could set blessed, right? And then you could set the date for maybe a blessing you want to remember or something. It's so cute. Then they say prayed, sermon. There's three little hearts. Has a little square. So if you want to put the date, put something in the square. Amen. I love this one. Wow, God. That's so cool. There's a little arrow. What I love about the arrow, if your pastor's like mine, he is always giving us scriptures to remember. So I thought this would be fun if on the, during the week in Bible study to take that arrow and stamp it with the date to the scripture he talked about with the date on it. I thought that would be neat, you know, in my Bible. And then there's worship, remember, and the last one says hashtag illustrated faith. Pretty cool. I love it. So there's this little guy. And you guys know how these work, right? You stamp them. I'll stamp it in a second, actually, because I got something to stamp to show you. Oh, we're almost there. Almost. Okay. This. Have I shown you this already? This is the planner set that Mandy designed, and I love it. It's so cool. It's perfect for planning. I'm giving you a heads up. I'm going to be doing a Christmas planner in July, and I'm going to be using this one, okay? So I may be using another one because she's, she may have a Christmas planner set, too. We're, we're working on that. If it happens... I might be using it too, but here's this one. I love it. It's a six by eight, so it's big. You get all kinds of things. And somebody asked me a question about these, which I thought was really good. You know the mirror block stamps? Somebody asked if you could use this as mirror blocks, and you sure could. They're just smaller. Okay, there's that one. Oh, this is called, online it's called Essential, essential Dots and Dashes. Essentials Dots and Dashes, because she said this is essential for planners. All right. Oh, the Mono Eraser. So Jennifer showed this on her channel, and I had so many people message me to get this. Um, and so I went out there, found it. This eraser is a sand eraser. So if you have an uh, issue where you get a little ink somewhere on your page and you need to kind of clean it off, what this does is it kind of sands the surface. And sometimes you can use this and get rid of um, ink that's straight around where it doesn't need it to be. So these are really cool, and we got those in store for you. Any questions before I start this? Because now I'm going to show a demo. Um. Renee Edwards asked about the Christian Stamp Club stamp. Your preview for that will be tomorrow. Yes, we will do that tomorrow. So you'll get to see the uh, preview for that tomorrow. So um, we got asked about a, uh, could you do a review on the new Westcott hot glue pen? Have you seen that? I have seen it. I have not purchased it. 
I might get that thing and try it out. Sounds interesting. Any more Blue asks, what's the purpose of a mirror block? If you want to do reverse stamping, if you want to, um, like if you have one image that's going in one direction, but you need it to go in another, you can use the mirror blocks to do that. And there's a video on my channel explaining it. So, <laughs> okay guys, I'm excited. This ink is by Nuvo. It's a hybrid. I'm again, probably behind the trend, but I found this available to us, so I grabbed a bunch up. I wasn't sure about it, but it has some pretty good claims, so I did a test before we left on Friday of last week, and I wanted to see how it did over the weekend, so check this out. So, using the Nuvo Hybrid ink that says this, I'm gonna read it to you. Use Nuvo Hybrid inks for stamping, ideal to use with water-based and alcohol pens. So, basically it's saying we can use it for everything. So I did a test. So this one at the top is a stamp using the hybrid ink and colored over using a Spectrum Noir and it did not bleed. So there's one. This is a stamp using that hybrid ink and colored over with some Spectrum Coloristas because these are my alcohol markers, okay? This bottom one is the stamp and I watercolored it and I wish you could see the paper the paper is warped because it's not water there you go it's not watercolor paper so you can see how it's warped and it's peeling really bad I'm gonna try to get where you can see it see that now it did not bleed and something I thought was interesting I think I, I colored it really fast right here so I think you should let it sit for a second and dry which makes sense anything wet is gonna bleed but it didn't move even over the weekend. This ink has not moved, and I use it with water and alcohol inks, right? Let me stamp it for you. So I got this, let me use this. I'm stamping on wood, by the way, so this may be, well, I'm using a distressed stamp, so it won't matter too much. So I'm going to look at the ink pad, see how it's shaped, so you can get your fingers around it real good without getting them dirty. I like that, right? And then, so all you folks that are asking me what ink is best for, um, alcohol what ink is best for water coloring this one looks like it's going to work for everything show you that <laughs> i'm so backwards guys so now this this stamp i'm using is from patina it's it's a rustic brick stamp so that's why it looks kind of busted up like that i'm gonna let it dry for a second now this one i'm gonna use a purple spectra noir marker get this where you can see it let's see Hey, can somebody come zoom me in? <laughs> Everyone has left me now. They're tired of me. No, food got here, didn't it? Lunch got here. Uh, two fingers, zoom it. Just take your two fingers and stretch till it shows this. Let me get to it. Okay, go. You're taller can somebody than help me. her with that, please? I can't. I'm sorry. sorry. To zoom me zoom. so I can show this. Zoom me in. Is it well, as zoomed as it'll go? That may be yeah, a problem. Yeah, it ain't zoomed okay. anymore. Okay, so here we go. There's what it looks like, okay? I'm gonna color it with the Spectrum Noir. I'm also gonna color it with a pale color because I want you to be able to see the ink itself. Let's use a yellow. I want you to be able to see through it. And then I'm gonna use water on it. So there's a yellow, okay? And then, Come right behind me because I didn't bring a paintbrush in. I'm gonna get some water from the sink. And just with some water on this paper towel, I'm gonna rub. I'm rubbing over all of it. You're gonna rub over all that too. So look, it didn't move. It's not going anywhere. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I'm gonna be 100% honest. It is not as dark as my VersaFine Onyx Black. So if you have VersaFine Onyx Black, and you like using it for your sentiments, do that. It's per, I mean, you know, cause it's a richer one. This um, look and feel reminds me of Memento. So if you use Memento now, this is kind of the result you're gonna get. At this point, I only have it in Black Shadow. That's the name of it. I don't know. I will look to see if we can get it in other colors cause I really didn't believe it. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I ordered a bunch thinking I'd send them back if it didn't work. 
um, cause I really didn't believe it. I mean, you don't blame me for that, right? I wanted to try it out and see. So I did a test last week before I showed you and I think it's amazing. So I also like the shape of this pad, right? This is not like stays on. Stays on is made for, um, I love this pad. I love the shape. Stays on is made for non-porous surfaces. Somebody asked about acetate, didn't they? Let me see what this says. Apply ink to stamp and use on card or heat set on glossy, glossy surfaces and fabrics. So then, it says these permanent fast dry inks are waterproof and smudge proof, ideal for coloring. So it says you can heat press it onto acetate and glossy surfaces. So I haven't tried it. I'm not where I can now either, but I like it. I love the way the color is on the end. I love the shape. I love how my fingers can get in here and open this up real easy and it closes really nice. But the thing I like about the closing really nice is because I can get my fingers in there, I can, you know, it can close and that's fine. It's not hard to open. It looks distressed. Well, I just pushed the ink pad down and did it on some wood, so. And this is a distressed stamp. This one is not. This is a cross stitch stamp over here. But this I use a distressed image. Awesome because it will stay on. Yeah, so. It does not smell like stays on. Let me smell it. Oh, it has a great smell though. Yeah, I like it. Stop sniffing me. <laughs> it smells so good. It smells like, um, it kind of smells like stays on. Now I have a headache. Don't Stop. sniff your ink. <laughs> Don't sniff your ink. Okay. We also got a lot of stamp sets back in stock today. We got patina back in stock. We got garden party back in stock. We got birdie says back in stock. We got define emotions. Alton and Olivia are back. Sunflower Wishes, the Relic is also back. Made with Love came back in today also. And we also got in a new stack of the Distressed Oxides ink, Oxide inks. So those came back in stock today if you were missing a color on them. Not new colors, just refills. Just, just uh, not, not refills. refills just not new colors, just restock. Restock. And we also got more of the Tim Holtz mini kits in stock today. So got a lot of that stuff in today on top of all this new product. <laughs> Miss Joan is so funny. <laughs> she said hot press means you are hot while you're ironing. There you go. No, heat press, I think she said. She said she's, hot press. She's so funny. Uh, Gloria said, where are you, Maymay? You had a question for me? She might have, I don't know. I was letting Vince talk. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> Woo, okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. We won't do these always, but I had so much to show you. Um, and so that's how we did it. Questions, now it's question time. I'm gonna give you, we're already into our hour, so we just got a few minutes. So let's ask some questions. Uh, Vaughn asks, how can they get the free shipping code for signing up for the club? Vaughn, if you'll email us at info, there you go. Amanda's already on top of it. You, now, Everyone that signs up gets an email. That email says, welcome to the club in the subscription line. Then at the bottom of that email, it has the information for you. I did not put it at the top because there's a lot of information you need to read about Stamp Club. Um, so a lot of times people miss it and sometimes it can go to your junk mail and if you sign up using an email that's not your primary, you may forget about it. That's happened a lot too because I have like four emails. So I thought I saw another question, Minnie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Reminder, we need a favor from you guys. This is, this is getting a little bit hairy, and it's our fault, not yours, okay? So we have set up the email called info at May May Made It. Um, Rachel is our info girl, okay? She works that email. If you email info, she will answer you. Now, we ask that you give us 24 hours. We get a lot of emails, and she answers from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. She's answering emails and questions and running the front desk. What's happening is people are emailing info and maybe if you're not hearing back from us within an hour or two, then we're emailing Amanda and then we're emailing me. And here's the problem. So I'm forwarding the email to info, Amanda's forwarding the email to info, and now she's got three emails that are the same thing and she's having to like swim through them. So if you don't mind, if you have questions about products, about shipment dates, about um, your order, about anything really, it's best to start at info.
because that way Rachel can get it to who it goes to and she does that now if you have a email for Amanda if it's something you and Amanda have been dealing with or something that y'all talked about or something like that that's different we're not saying we're not available to you the problem is just whenever it's sent to all three of us and we all then forward it back to her for her to take care of then it's it's kind of hairy so um, also and I want to say this just from me just a little housekeeping we do our best to be perfect but guess what what is it we ain't perfect we're not perfect we make mistakes we're gonna make some mistakes I think we have done very well because we learned this business just from our, our own sales and we're learning it and we try to always make your order right and sometimes they're gonna be messed up sometimes we're gonna make a mistake because we are all humans that's right Vaughn we don't do perfect we try to, we try to get your orders. I would so much rather your order be perfect. You can't imagine, but we will do everything in our power to make your order right and as perfect as possible. So if we have messed up, we ask for your forgiveness and we ask that you will email us and let us fix it, give us the opportunity. And um, we appreciate your patience. We really do. Um, <laughs> Joan has bumped her head. What now? <laughs> She said, oh my gosh, that was just as terrible as finding out there's no Santa or Tooth Fairy. <laughs> because, OMG. Because I said, we're not perfect. We're not. But we love you guys, and we never, ever, ever want you to have a bad experience with us. Trust us. That is not our, our intention. We want you to feel like you have, you can contact us. Now, we do ask for 24 hours. It's busy around here. But I feel like well, 24 hours is kind of, well, unless you use the live chat. Let me say this. If you need an answer right now, Use the live chat feature on our website because Tamitha runs a live chat from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you need to know something really quick, she will also, and she can get you an answer like this because not order not, questions. Not she can't email. research your order stuff because it's a chat situation. But she, like if you have a product question or a video question or a project, man, Tamitha's good at that. If you say, I saw a video they may did, she can find that video faster than I can. So, um, so anyway, what is CST in the UK? Okay, you are six hours behind us. That's my friend Garrett, the six hours behind me. Teach your gift projects. I have some on my channel. Go check that out. All right, guys, I'm going to run. We've been on here long enough, and you guys don't like live videos. Uh, we're not showing Maymay right now. She's not dressed for camera. <laughs> Somebody said show Maymay, not the table. She ain't dressed for camera, but that was a good try. <laughs> Sometimes I'll let you see me. Hey guys, did you enjoy the live Q&A that Vince and I did last month? I was thinking we might could do those once a month and answer a lot of your questions that come in throughout the month. Yeah, where sure. we did that. Because we can answer everything, like the Vinny's Vittles questions, the May May questions. Just kind of do the little live talk show kind of thing that's really not crafting. Okay, good deal. I'm getting a lot of yeses. I think that'd be good to do like at the end of the month or something. Not the first, because we're doing stamp clubs in the middle of stamp clubs. So at the end of the month, we could do like a maybe a Friday morning Q&A or something where people could ask a bunch of questions like this. Yep, yep, yep. Miss Fitch, you're gonna love it because July, every video is Christmas. Everyone on May May's channel is Christmas. Well, not and my Bible, not my Bible journal. new stamp sets for Christmas Yes, we have new Christmas stamp set. We have new um, Christmas stamp sets coming out in July. At least one, I'm working on three, don't tell Vince. Um, <laughs> look I don't at, care if you do 10. He did, don't say that. Like I have time to do Bowl 10. Up. You big and bad. Like I have time to do 10. But yes, July is going to be all Christmas, whether you like it or not, unfortunately. <laughs> but don't worry, there's lots of other stuff you can watch. All right, guys, we love you very much. Somebody say goodnight, John Boy. That means we got to sign off. Yeah. That is the, that's the sign off. Kathy's ready for us to shut up. Go get your hybrid. This stuff's good. I think we're really going to enjoy this stuff. All right, love you guys. Benny's going to turn us off, and we will see you on <laughs> Thursday for Rosette Stars. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye.